Increased demand means that at every given price, the quantity demanded is higher. So that the demand curve shifts to the right from DO to D1. Decreased demand means that at every given price, the quantity demanded is lower. So that the demand curve shifts to the left from DO to D2. The demand curve can be used to identify how much consumers would buy at any given price. If the price changes, then the quantity demanded changes but remains on the same demand curve. This simplified model illustrates an important assumption made in economic theories and models. Caterus paribus. This Latin phrase means other things being equal. In the supply and demand models, we hold all other variables equal and look only at the factor of price. If a factor other than price has an impact on demand, then we can look beyond the current demand schedule and curve. If we expand our view to other factors that may change or shift demand, we can see their effect. For example, let's look at the changes that consumer incomes have on demand. With an increase in income, consumers will purchase larger quantities, pushing demand to the right. Here are two lists of factors that cause either an increase or decrease in demand. The factors on the left cause a decrease in demand and shift it to the left. The factors on the right cause an increase in demand and shift it to the right. These factors include consumer tastes, population change, income change, substitutes, complements, and future expectation. Decreased supply means that at every given price, the quantity supplied is lower, so that the supply curve shifts to the left, from SO to S1. Increased supply means that at every given price, the quantity supplied is higher, so that the supply curve shifts to the right from SO to S2. The supply curve can be used to show the minimum price a firm will accept to produce a given quantity of output. The concept of caterus paribus applies to the supply curve as well. This means that holding all other factors equal, a change in price only impacts the quantity supplied along the same supply curve. The cost of production and the desired profit equal the price a firm will set for a product. If we change other factors related to the firm's cost of production or the desired profit, then the supply curve shifts. Because the cost of production and the desired profit equal the price a firm will set for a product, if the cost of production increases, the price for the product will also need to increase to maintain the desired profit level of the firm. When the cost of production increases, the supply curve shifts upwardly to a new price level in order to maintain the desired profit of the firm. Here are two lists of factors that either increase or decrease supply. These factors include natural conditions, input prices, technology, and taxes and regulation.